Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about creating custom themes for our Samsung devices. Um, this is going to be part of the Good Luck 2020 suite of applications, but it enables us actually to create a theme that's customized all around the wallpaper that we're using. And if you guys are like me and you like to change your wallpapers every so often, you're able to create a custom theme, save it, and actually make it unique to the wallpaper that you're using that day. This is TK and this is Good Luck 2020. We're gonna focus on one of their modules and I'm gonna share with you guys how I do it on my Galaxy Fold and the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's check them out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. So the first thing you'll notice obviously is that I like to put custom cases with images on the back of my device. Uh, now these are sent to me by a company called uh, Bazaar Dodo and I'll give you guys a link to them in the description below. These are, there's two different versions. There's the LED version and then there is basically just a glow in the dark ones and I'll share with you guys how they look. But the LED one pretty much connects to the bottom of your device using USB-C. It does not block wireless charging. And then of course, if you tap it or you move your device, it'll start basically changing different colors. And they have a lot of different designs on their site that can actually give it a more unique look for yourself. And again, these guys are very much the same thing, no LED connection at the bottom, but they do glow in the dark. So the main benefit here essentially is that you see your outdoors, you go into a darker area, the actual uh, background here will glow for an extended amount of time, depending on how much light it absorbs. Looks really good. And I'll share with you guys a couple of videos here as I'm doing some B-roll um, over what we're talking about. They look really, really good. And again, they sent me these three cases and a link for that will be in the description below. Now for the Galaxy Fold, I'm using something a little bit different. It's not as customizable as these cases, but it's definitely very rugged. And it also gives me a handle. So I'm able to basically hold it here and actually much easier hold for the actual device. So if I want to use it like this, or if I want to even be able to set it up like this, or if let's say I want to watch a show, I can set it up standing up, take a picture with that. And of course, all in all, uh, whenever I'm using it, I'm actually even able to get it a little bit tilted to get a better view on it whenever it's sitting on the table. Uh, but other than that, as far as the customizations, you'll notice first and foremost, when I first unlocked both of my devices, I have this lock screen. So this is something that we can just do straight out of our device. Um, you need to just have a video that's positioned or inside of your, uh, your basically gallery application here from Samsung. And then from in there, you can basically assign that as a wallpaper, a act, basically a video wallpaper for the outside. So basically your lock screen. Now, when it comes down to the actual system, which is what we're using here, this is the application we're going to talk about. So you'll notice First and foremost, this is running Android 9.0 and I'm still using Good Luck. This is Good Luck 2020, but it is specifically made for the uh, basically Android 9.0. So just keep that in mind. And the one I'm running here is the same version, but this one is running on uh, Android 10.0 because the Galaxy S10 Plus did receive that. Under the family tab, there is a module called Theme Park. And this is by far one of the most powerful theme, uh, devices that, or applications that you can use. The beauty behind this is that you can customize your device based on the wallpaper that you're using. An example would be this. You'll notice right here what I have essentially is the dark theme and that's directly from the One UI 1.5 and it is pretty much the same thing present here on One UI 2.0. Very easy, very simple, but we can customize it even further. So an example would be here. I'll go into the device, I'll go to Theme Park. This is the exact right away process on both these devices and I'll go ahead and say Design New. And first and foremost, you'll automatically be opened up directly into your gallery and you can start selecting different images. So for me, I have different wallpapers that I've been looking at. Right now we're using this one, but if I wanna be able to just say change it, I wanna be able to use something else. So this one is uh, SSJ4 uh, Gogeta. You can see definitely it looks really nice. And as soon as I select the image, the actual module starts analyzing the colors that are present there and it permeates them through. And we can do essentially is change the view here and that gives us the ability of seeing exactly how it's gonna look like on our device. So this is what it's gonna look like on my home screen, on my lock screen, and I can actually click on it, change the image or crop it. Let's say the image itself, uh, let's go back here. It doesn't actually look great or maybe it's offset. I can actually go in here, click it once and then say crop and it'll take me to an editor and I'm able to basically customize what I wanna do and where do I wanna put it. If it's looking fine, then you don't have to worry about it. Of course, if you don't like to say the image and you wanna change it to something else, you can go in there as well. Uh, but you can see here as well as the fact that everything is already done for us. You can, for the most part, just go ahead and hit save, everything is done. But this is not where I'm here for you. I wanna share with you guys why you can customize it specifically. Now, I love the fact that it did pick the right colors, but let's say I don't wanna use the bubbles like this. I'll go ahead and change the colors a little bit darker. It starts to match basically 
uh, you know, Gogeta a little bit better for me. I can go into the styles and let's say I want to be able to change the background here into something a little bit darker to save battery. So that's closer to the darker theme. And again, you can see it permeating through everything in the system. Uh, you can go in there as far as uh, customizing the icon tray as well as the label, the style and the color. And when you're done, let's say you do like this one, you just go ahead and hit save and then give it a name. So we're just going to say Gogeta. Very easy, very simple. I'll just go ahead and say save. It gives it a second basically to create a custom theme and save it directly to your device. And it's going to be actually sitting in amongst all the other custom themes that you have installed. So under my themes right now, I have this custom theme. There's the standard one that I'm currently using. And of course I can customize it and apply this one. So I can go ahead and say here and I'll go ahead and say apply. So before we go anywhere, you'll notice right there, all the colors is blue with the black background here. I'll go back in here and we'll go back. Actually, we need to go back into themes. And then go ahead and hit apply and I'll give it a second and it's going to go through and it's going to permeate and put all of the stuff. So the lock screen that we had before, that's going to be more similar to this one. It's going to go away. It's going to be a picture of Gogeta. And of course, getting it just set up all of done. Give it a second. You'll notice right there, the image is applied. Uh, you can actually go in there and actually bring down the notification shade. You notice the color did change. Let's go ahead and lock our device and unlock it. And of course, Gogeta is still sitting there. And then of course, we can unlock it with all the same metric or biometric options that we have front facing camera, all of that stuff. And again, the beauty of this is I can go in there and change this as many times as I want. Let's say I found a new picture and I want to be able to change it again. Uh, as simple as that, I go in here, find the image. You'll notice it automatically started shifting it. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back into the main view, swipe up here, and I'm going to go ahead and crop the image, mostly just because I want to make sure that it fits correctly. And I get both Goku and Vegeta set up correctly right about to do their blast, the Kamehameha and the final blast. You'll notice the colors look great. It's permeating the orange from the different options here. And again, I can go in there. I can change the blue. I can go in, customize, go to style. Again, make it maybe a little bit darker, even more, uh, more bluish tones. And of course, just permeate it, do exactly what I want. Go into the tray, customize the background of the actual icons if I want to. If I don't, I can let it go. And of course, labels. Once I'm done, hit save. And of course, I can apply it later or switch again. And you could do this with every single wallpaper you get on your device be it at the Galaxy Fold, uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, S10, S10e, uh, hopefully with the brand new Galaxy S20 line of devices, as well as the Note line. And anything that supports good lock, you should be able to do it. And of course, I'll give you guys a link to APK Mirror in case you want to be able to sideload Theme Park by yourself. You probably already know this, but I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, anything Dragon Ball related, I generally like to have, and I like to customize my devices with them. Uh, now, the cases that I'm sharing with you guys here are customizable on the outside and they have different designs. They have them for both Android and iOS. But the ones that I'm sharing with you guys here are specifically made for the Galaxy S line of devices and there'll be a link for that in the description below. Um, the UAG case that I just showed you guys for the Galaxy Fold is basically one of the most ruggedized cases you can get for the Galaxy Fold. And I love it because of the fact that this little cover that they have in the middle when you open it up creates a little handle. So you actually have a better grip of the Galaxy Fold when you're trying to use it one handed. Um, the theme system that we have here with the uh, with the uh, theme park that's built in with GoodLock, it's very functional, it's very easy, and it's very simple. You can still download themes directly from the theme store, and you can buy them and do different things. But if you have your own wallpapers already, and you want to be able to create a theme around that wallpaper, which I feel like is the best way to customize our device, this is going to be the best way. And again, it is built in as part of GoodLock 2020. And actually, an earlier generation, the one I showed you guys on the Galaxy Fold is GoodLock from last year. They just updated the UI so start that it actually has the darker UI to match the system. But otherwise, uh, for the most part, you can, should be able to run this on any device that supports Theme Park, which is part of GoodLock 2020 or GoodLock suite of applications. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.